Hello guys and be welcome to welcome back to my Visual Basic tutorials. Today I'm gonna teach you about classes and how you can uh, access them from like different different uh, different spots and oh sorry and in different classes. So the first thing you would do is click projects, add new item, and then you choose a class and you can name it name it whatever you want. I would just name it um play or no um player yeah so this is a class and in a class uh, a class you can use a class by declaring it in a sub so you can do like this uh, dim ps new player and yeah so what you can do in the player you can for example you can take make a, a property public property name as string and after you've done that you type get and then enter and this will come up so what what this will do the get um, between the get block uh, or the get and the end get code blocks you will you will get um and here you will be able to return something so you can do return and then the name of the player so let's say the name of the player is um, Jordan and they'll say that um, the set is when you're gonna set the value to something then you're gonna do um, you need to declare a private variable up here I forgot you just name it underscore string like that and then you're gonna do name equals value and up here you're gonna do I told her we got about this you're gonna do name like that so in this variable you can sh change the name you can do like that and now when you're, you've done that you can access that from here so you can do like this p dot and then name and then you can change it to whatever you want so let's, let's say that um, I'm gonna write to change the name to the console. Your name is in a p dot name, and then console dot read line. And then when you click debug, you say your name is Jordan because I've been declaring a class with the name Jordan, and uh, or not a not the name of the class is not Jordan, but there's a variable in the class called Jordan. Or with a value Jordan. Anyways, um, there's also something called modules. Uh, this is a mo module, and you can access it from anywhere. You don't have, you don't have to declare it like this. You can just type the module's name dot without even declaring it. So it, let's, I'm gonna show you an example. So let's say I'm creating a new er, er, module, and I'm naming it uh, um, a module. So if I type public uh, property uh, name as string and then get return and I, I need to declare it up here first um, name as string and I name him Jordan again or no uh, John and uh, and to return name and name equals value and as we said before we need to return a value and that is going to be the variable up here the variable variable up here and when it set the, sets the value it's going to change that variable to the value so now you can see here when i'm trying to access it um i'm just going to do a sub d so when you're trying to access it you can in a or I'm um, a module dot and then just access it without declaring it declaring it um, and I did it in the wrong one like this um, um, a module dot and then access it without even declaring it somewhere and that is also really useful if you want um, you want to make uh, something if you want to organize it better and that's the same thing with classes. If you want to organize it better, you can separate it in different files and your different classes, and then you can access it from anywhere you want. So this is pretty much the tutorial for today. 
Um, I'm sorry if I'm hard to understand as I'm pretty tired right now, and yeah. So anyways guys, um, thanks a lot for watching this tutorial. Uh, if you would like, subscribe, uh, like this video, and comment, uh, and uh, give us suggestions about what we, we could change in our videos or improve. So anyways guys, um, thank you a lot for watching this uh, video, and peace.